Than 20 years ago, in July of 1996, Dolly the Sheep was born at a research facility in Scotland. And while others had worked on cloning for decades, Dolly was the first mammal to be cloned from a single adult cell. The news was so big that Dolly ended up on the cover of Time magazine. Six and a half years later, though, skeptics scoffed when the animal had to be put down after she developed a lung infection. And that news prompted many to assume the cloning of animals was nothing more than a passing fancy. However, the work to clone animals did not stop although much of the focus became on livestock and show animals. Now the process has advanced to the point where vets are able to clone your pets. Rick Dayton explains how this is not science fiction. Cloning of pets is real. This adorable fluff ball is a nine-month-old toy poodle. His name is Baxter. Baxter is a clone. People have a hard time wrapping their brain around it that it is really a real technology, that it's not science fiction. It's not like what you see on TV or in the movies. Biogen has been cloning livestock for more than 15 years. They've cloned thousands of cattle, more than 250 horses, and thousands of pigs and sheep, too. Then, two years ago, they started doing pets. I would have probably never thought about cloning a pet 10 years ago. I was livestock world. And now my biggest regret was we had one dog that we connected to, and I'd love to bring it back. Now you can. Well, sort of. The dog that you're going to clone is not going to be a, a Frankenstein. It's just a normal dog like any other dog. You never know by looking at him that he's a cloned puppy. If you didn't know, you wouldn't know. No, that, I mean, I, someone once made the, um, the statement, one of the most amazing things about a clone is they're just an animal. You know, it's, there's, there's no way to tell. We like to say a genetic twin just born at a different time. Cloning starts when your vet takes four small skin samples from your pet. It's a simple procedure, and most dogs go home the same day. Some owners have it done when their dog's under anesthesia for something as routine as a dental cleaning. Every veterinarian in the planet can do this to preserve the DNA very, very easily. Um, it's things that we do every day in practice almost. Dr. Mike just performed the procedure for a client who asked to have a pet cloned as a final wish. This is Star Trek to me. I mean, this is amazing. Back in 2000, I couldn't even imagine treating animals with stem cells, let alone cloning animals from our practice. Couldn't even imagine it. Just talk about it. And here we are a few years later, and we're doing this routinely. The biopsy is sent to Viagen at its lab in Texas. From that little skin sample, we culture millions and millions of cells. And these are cells that contain the pet's complete DNA, and that's all that we need for cloning. Viagen chooses a surrogate, approximately the same size as your pet, to carry your cloned puppy. Once we have that cell line established, we'll use those cells to produce cloned embryos that are transferred into a surrogate dog who has a normal gestation, and then you've got a puppy that's born that is a genetic twin to the original pet. But this is the most remarkable part for Dr. Mike. Even dogs that are sick or have cancer can be cloned. They can take a cell from anywhere in the body. And even if you take a 16-year-old dog and you decide now I want to do it, but is he too old, does he have old cells, um, it resets the clock. They go back to young again, which is... It's not, it's not a reincarnation of their pet. It's not that same pet born over again. But it's those same genetics. And this little piece of this pet that they love so much is somehow back in their life again. Cloning is not for everyone, and it's not cheap either. The cloning fee is $50,000 to clone a dog. Uh, half of that fee is paid up front as a deposit, and that secures their spot on the wait list. So we do, there's a lot of interest. So we do currently have a waiting list. Uh, it's fairly short right now. We can usually get to the cloning in about one to two months. Our big goal right now is to try to increase efficiency so we can drive down price and just bring the technology to more people. Yet when it comes to what pet owners will spend on caring for their animals, sometimes there is no limit. I've seen people remortgage their homes to treat one of their animals with a terminal cancer, one that's in late stages. I've seen them remortgage their home to treat it to get a few more months. So who am I to judge? I just say give them the information and let them decide. You would think at a price that price point that's high right now that it would be just the wealthy, but, it, but it's not. It's people from all different backgrounds. And that bottom factor is just love, and they'll find a way to, to be able to afford that. It's not just purebred dogs with impeccable bloodlines being cloned. Many are mixed breed rescues, dogs you would never be able to replicate until now. They have a pet that they love very much. They have a unique bond with that pet, and they want to extend that bond. You know, their pet's lives are very short compared to ours. So if you can clone that pet, and have another one that's very similar, it's very uh, rewarding. And smart 
Adorable, loving puppies like Baxter certainly make a strong case for owners who choose to clone. Rick Dayton, KDKA TV News. Now Rick also reports the company is cloning cats and that the cost of that is much lower. Lower than the dogs at least because the dog as we just heard is around $50,000. It's $25,000 to clone your cat.